Hello and welcome back to Technoivo. My name's Steph and today I'm going to be running through another OBS tutorial. Now, this came from a comment we received from Southern California Christ Jesus Preachers who essentially asked if we had any videos showing how to pull up a YouTube video and capture it and then switch camera feeds back to themselves and things like that. So it very much sounds as if it's going to be some kind of YouTube reacts video that they're trying to make, maybe even a YouTube video reacts channel. But I thought that would be a good opportunity to to do another tutorial essentially. So let's dive in. So as you can see, I'm sitting on my desktop. I've got OBS in front of me and we're gonna start building our scene. So first off, what I am going to do is just create a brand new scene for this tutorial. And there you go, that is my brand new scene with nothing in it at the moment. The first thing I like to do when I create new scenes is create some kind of border or image overlay just so it keeps everything nice and neat. So the first thing I'm going to do is put an image in there, YouTube reacts overlay, create a new image, webcam background one, brilliant. There you go, there is my main image, stretch it to your canvas size, of course the canvas size can be determined by you and what you want to stream at being 1080, 720, 1440, 4k, that kind of thing. So we've got a PNG image and it's just my webcam border at the moment. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is pull in some video. So I'm currently using a webcam, which you'll see in a moment. So if I go to video capture device, add existing, I've already got my creative camera on there, add the existing one to that, activate the camera. And as you can see, here is me. I'm live <laughs> while I'm recording this video. And just to show that it's not pre-scripted or anything like that, it's just me creating a scene. Best thing to do that I, it's my personal preference essentially, is drag that underneath the border that I have previously created. And I just mocked this up quickly in Photoshop. Drag that to the size that you want to fit inside of your uh, webcam space. Next thing I want to do, as you can see, there is nothing in here pertaining to my audio. Now this is important and depending on the type of device you're using, I personally pull in separate audio. So at the moment I am using a Go XLR. So if I just go to add and go to audio input capture, click that there and my existing broadcast mix is there. But if you did want to add a new input capture, if you've got, I don't know, like a Blue Yeti on your desk or something similar, USB condenser microphone, add it as a separate input because it means you can mix it far easier using the sliders just here. So I am bringing in my broadcast mix and you can see now that my audio with me talking is reacting right here. So there are a couple of ways to be able to capture a video feed. Now the first is if you add a display capture, but that will capture the entire screen. As you can see, I'm now inside my preview window here, recording my desktop. I'm recording the OBS window with like an infinity view on there, which does look quite cool, but I'm not too keen on doing it that way, simply because if you change windows or if something pops up like an email, for example, and you're live, you haven't got much control over this on what's actually being displayed. And uh, if you've got sensitive information on there, that could be a problem. Now, the way I like to do it is by capturing a specific window, and whether that's YouTube or any other video sharing service online, VLC, Windows Media Player, iTunes for video, that kind of thing. So what you need to do is if you click the plus button to add a new source, go to window capture right here, create a new window capture, and there you go. You, in the window drop down, you can target a specific browser window. And at the moment, on my second monitor, just over on my left here, I have a YouTube window open. And as you can see, if I click play, it's playing through a specific video. Now, what you're going to need to do at this point, again, window capture, move underneath your um, border if you've got a border on there if not you're not going to need to worry about that because it's pretty much full screen anyway but the next thing is to resize this window just so again it looks nice and neat now what then happens is if you full screen that video a full screen video will appear on your OBS preview and that is essentially 
it. The one thing you might have to do is adjust your desktop audio depending on the audio devices that you have. I've currently got my uh, broadcast mix set up to capture audio output, as I'll show you as just an example. The actual subject color and the background of the phone is trying to separate it from as well. The color. As you heard, that was the video playing, but your desktop may be slightly different and you might have to use the desktop audio slider if that's the way you've got it set up. But that is essentially the easiest way to set up a YouTube or video reaction type, I don't know, video or live stream or something like that. The other question that we did have uh, at the comment at the beginning is what it looks like when you swap between the, the two, the actual reaction like we've got here and then a full screen webcam. And that's very, very simple. I've already set up a scene for a webcam. And if I click on that now, you can see that I'm now full screen. I have my broadcast mix in there, which is my audio capture, which is the microphone, but yours might be slightly different. And I've also got my webcam here as well that I can turn on and off and also mute myself and mute and unmute myself like so. And that's pretty much it. That is how you set up a way to be able to record live reactions to videos or um, so you can create video content or live streams. And yeah, this is, this is as easy as easy as that. And there you go. A very easy way to create a scene to react to YouTube videos or react to any videos. Essentially, all you need is a video source to point OBS towards. So whether that's a browser, whether that's part of a media player on your system like VLC or Microsoft media player. I can't remember what it's actually called, the Windows media player stuff, but that is it. That is how simple it is to create a scene and start reacting to YouTube videos. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech gaming and tutorial videos. Leave a comment down below letting us know what you thought about this tutorial, if there's anything else you would like to know, or if there's anything else, other subjects about OBS you'd like to know as well, let us, let us know in the comments because we absolutely love making these tutorial videos. We've got a few on the channel at the moment and, uh, and people seem to really like them as well. So that's good enough for us to start making. As I say, thanks very much for watching this one and we'll see you in the next video.